zero, 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 stop. Those are crunches. This is the army. We have two crunches here. It's working my abs, Master Sergeant. Right. But it's still not doing a full setup. So today we're gonna to show you a few things to hopefully not change what you do, but hopefully add a few tips and tricks to hopefully get you through them with proper form and technique. I'm gonna show you the incorrect way of doing it, which is the way most people do it, where her legs are at a 45 degree angle, her feet are flat, which puts a lot of pressure on the quads. Now, the only true proper rest position when you're doing the sit up is the base of your neck is past the base of your spine and it's in the up position. So I'm gonna start to see her come up. So if you notice, she can't get that good rest position. She can't get the base of her neck past the base of her spine. Now you'll tie her out a lot quicker doing this. You also put a lot of pressure on your quads, which will burn out, you burn out your legs for the run. Back down. So the trick here is she's gonna get, she's gonna go back or move her feet out, get that good 90 degree angle. She's gonna get the heels, uh, or the only thing that's to remain touching the ground is the heels. So she's gonna bring her feet up, okay? Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna spread her body out so you're not so compressed. It's gonna allow you to get a good, good rhythm going. So come all the way up. Now if you notice, the base of her neck is past the base of her spine, and she can actually rest in this position very comfortably to, to, few, to squeeze out a few more at the end. So just do a couple. Now this is the proper arm you sit up. 